one who was on last night. It's that guy, right? Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social type. Now there's an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Uh, did you see the news special the other day? Yeah, I saw it. You mean the special on biker gangs? I watched it too. It wasn't like that when he was younger, though. You know him, Yukiko? Uh huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. So I speak with Kanjikun's mother from time to time. Oh, why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. Sounds good. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. Well, I wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alley, but I'm pretty sure he won't fly off the handle in his family store. All right, then let's get going. If things get rough, we're counting on you guys. Hello. Ah, Yuki-chan. It's so nice to see you. Well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. It's all right. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you. What's up with him, weirdo? I don't know. Never seen him before. Yuki-chan, you're as lovely as always. Your features are starting to remind me of your mother when she was young. How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? Oh, um, well, actually... Hey, this scarf? I've seen this somewhere before. Oh, you're right. Where was that? It was that place. Inside the TV. That's right. That room with those faceless posters. Then it's that announcer's. Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamino? Uh, well, kinda. Um, did Miss Yamino happen to have a scarf like this? Yes. It was a special order she placed. She actually ordered a pair, but in the end, she said she only wanted the women's scarf. It left us with no choice but to sell this one separately. Oh man, there is a connection to the first case. What are we gonna do? How should I know? Hello? Delivery here for the Tatsumis. Oh, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me. Oh, it's okay. We should get going. I'll come again, ma'am. Is that so? Well, then please say hello to your mother for me. It really is connected to the first case after all. But it's just a scarf. Would the killer target someone just because of that? Damn it, what's going on? Come on, let's talk outside. Hmm? It's Kanji-kun. Well, quick, hide! You're not fooling anyone, you know. Shh, I can't hear what they're saying! Tomorrow's fine with me. Huh? S school Of course I'm going to school. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. D did, he, did he say he was interested? He's a guy. And I'm a guy, but he's interested in me? Huh? What the hell are you pricks looking at? Oh, 
Oh, that scared the hell out of me. He's even worse in person than on TV. The one on TV last night was definitely Kanji-kun. Yeah, and I just realized something. Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman, and she knew Ms. Yamano. But it was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean? Yeah, that's what it seemed like based on the TV image. But his mother fits the pattern more than he does. Oh, maybe it's similar to my case. If you think about it, my mother fit the victim profile more than I did. She was the one who dealt directly with Miss Yamano, but I was the one who was targeted. Does that mean it'll be the kid again instead of the mother? But if that's true, then the killer's motive makes no sense at all. It'd have nothing to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything. You think we're on the wrong track? Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. Or is there some kind of secret in the textile shop itself? I'm totally lost. But we can't ignore this. Hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? We could at least see if anything odd's happened lately. He scares the wits out of me, but... Hey, wasn't Kanji making plans with that weird kid a moment ago? Something about meeting up at school? I heard he's been skipping school ever since the new year started. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? Yeah, something did seem weird. Yeah, it's suspicious, all right. There's something funny going on here. I can sense it. Sense? You sound like Teddy. Still, we might find some clues. All right, let's try staking out both Kanji and his family store. We definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. That being said, Yukiko, can I have your cell number? Hey, was this your plan all along? Uh, no. I got everybody's phone number except for hers. And the Y section of my address book needs some filling out. While we're on the subject, could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? You really sound like a pervert. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy tofu on my way home. Oh, she didn't hear a word I said. Okay, then. The stakeout is set for tomorrow. Hmm, stakeouts? Tailing people? Woo! I'm getting goosebumps.